what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk today about when exactly screen 5 should come out what would make the most sense marketing wise what would make the most amount of um what would make the biggest impact at the box office in terms of a release and at the same time talk about the downfall of screen 4 and how they need to use screen 4 to learn from the marketing mistakes that screen 4 had in the weinsteins and that whole whole ordeal with screen 4 and use it to their advantage in ways to improve the marketing for screen five now we know screen five is supposed to start filming later this fall in wilmington north carolina we have our directors matt Bellinelli, tyler gillett who we know are responsible for the horror hit ready or not from last year uh the horror comedy hit ready or not uh which was a very very good movie for what it was uh and then on top of that we know that officially david arquette is going to be reprising his role as dewey riley we have kevin williamson on board as the executive producer he wrote the first two movies and he wrote screen four he did an outline for screen three he never got to actually do anything with it uh and then of course we know that we have our writers for screen five we have now found found out who is going to be writing the script is going to be a cult a cold team of writers who are working on this project to hopefully live up to the legacy of Wes Craven. Uh, and we know that Nev Campbell is in discussions to come back on board as Sidney Prescott. So that already tells us that they have some type of role for Sidney in the script. They possibly are reaching out to Courtney Cox, possibly reaching out to Hayden Pantier. They're possibly reaching out to other legacy cast members who they want to get back on board to have them in this film in some capacity, one shape or in one shape or another regardless if they bring them back to life if they have them in a hallucination or we don't know what direction this movie is going to take uh, but getting into when i believe it should come out next year is going to be the 25th anniversary of the original film's release a lot of people want this movie to be out in time for screen 4's anniversary in april of 2021 you can do that as well uh but again screen 4 isn't a movie that many people remember i my honest opinion no one remembers screen 4 outside of screen fans in my honest opinion diehard screen fans are the only people who run around talking about Scream 4 coming out 10 years ago. Something like Scream, a movie like Scream, the original Scream, that's recognized by multiple people, even people who were not even fans of the genre, people who are not even fans of the film. That movie in itself, the original Scream, Wes Craven's original 1996 movie, that gets more recognition for an anniversary than a Scream 4 will, especially 25 years later. Screen 4 is going to be having its 24th, not 25th, uh, not 24th, 25th anniversary next December. Uh, the movie came out December 21st of 2020, not, not 2020. It came out to December 21st of 1996. Next year is going to be the 25th anniversary of that. Uh, I believe that will put us in the week of Christmas Eve next year. So I don't think they would re release it in Christmas Eve. I don't think that would be the smartest thing. They could. They could take that ultimate risk and put it out um in christmas on christmas eve because i know a lot of people back when scream came out in theaters they thought because the movie was coming out in december that that was dimensions way of saying uh oh well hey we're gonna dump the trash here since this is they didn't have i don't i don't think they had a lot of faith in the project they they didn't realize they had a hit on their hands uh so that's why they dumped it in december at that time um the, dumping it in december now on the 25th anniversary of the original Scream, using the 25th anniversary in the marketing for the release of the upcoming fifth movie, on top of the fact that you might want to have cast reunions around around the um, around the time of the film possibly coming out, have them show up at conventions that go on. There's several conventions that go on throughout the year, so the cast members of Scream 5 and for the original Scream could show up at different events. We could have uh several different several different things happen like for one for one thing in screen four we have a ghost face app that is present on everyone's iphone that would be very cool to see as a marketing tool once again for screen five i know that was a marketing tool for screen four and i believe it kind of just vanished off of the app stores once screen four came out the voice app didn't necessarily make you sound exactly like ghost face but you get what i'm saying uh, use that to their advantage uh re-release the original trilogy come out with a new box set promote that maybe have maybe somehow if shout shout factory scream factory release some collector's editions of the original movies uh to promote the anticipating release of scream 5 when it comes out in theaters in december 
that's some things that people that's some things that could be done of course to amp up the marketing get people excited uh have us have let's say interactive things to to kind of amp up the marketing a bit Inter when i say interactive like possibly have q and a's on twitter because again when screen four came out social media was in its infancy uh social media is up and running it has both of its full it has both of its legs at full strength now we could have several different things to use to get people excited for screen five and let them know ghostface is back oh hey there's a new screen movie coming out we could have live twitter q and a's with the cast live twitter q and a's with the crew to answer any questions about their thoughts on participating in screen five uh, answering anything that answering to tease fans on what they could expect from screen five sharing their thoughts on their love for the franchise and the and the franchise's legacy we could get another documentary put together of sorts if they wanted to go all the way spy, spyglass media there's several things that could be done it's a matter of if any of this will actually if they will take this take this much act take this much action because i feel like honestly with the low box office reception from screen four a lot of action needs to be taken with screen five coming out to amp up the marketing with the uh with the film because in screen when screen four came out it had a budget of 40 million dollars if i'm not mistaken but it only made like 90 90 dollars or 90 million dollars at the box office in return um a screen movie doesn't need to have that high of a budget either uh, i feel like you could get away with a budget of 10 million dollars and that's it 10 million dollars 10 million dollar budget for a film is enough and then you can have a decent slasher film told you could of course make make back that money when it comes out in december releasing it around the time of the original film is something that would be ideal for me a lot of people would want it to see come out in october if i'm not mistaken if everything still goes as planned halloween ends is supposed to come out in october so i don't really want to see Halloween ends and Scream 5 competing at the box office. I know that would be everyone's biggest, biggest wet dream because everybody likes to fantasize about Ghostface versus, versus Michael Myers, something that couldn't possibly happen because they've made it perfectly clear that they don't exist in each other's universe. <laughs> in the original Scream, they're watching Halloween, and in Halloween H2O, they're watching Scream 2. So, and then on top of that, Ghostface isn't a person. Ghostface is just a costume. So when you're saying you want to see Michael Myers versus Ghostface, which one do you want to see him up against? You want to see him up against Billy? You want to see him up against Roman, Stu? What are we talking about here? Because if you just put him up against that costume, Michael Myers is going to win. <laughs> um people want to see the movie come out in october possibly i don't want to see that let halloween ends have its time to shine put screen five out in a time where there's not that much competition of course that might be something unavoidable given uh that we don't know what exactly is going to be coming out in december 2021 just yet as far as like overall but of course if Scream is there in itself in December 2021 and the whole marketing scheme is promoting the, the fifth film arriving on the 25th anniversary, just in time for the 25th anniversary of the original. And we have the cast and crew actively promoting it all over Instagram, Twitter, social media, Facebook, TV spots are more rampant than than they were with Scream 4. Uh, people, of course, me, myself, con content creators who are now always making videos about the film. There are several things that are gonna that I feel would uh, be can be used as marketing tools. Not only the fact that the filmmakers, Spyglass Media themselves, could do a lot to promote Screen Five, but me as a content creator and other content creators like 3C Films, Dave McRae, uh, we watched the movie. Everybody who's always talking about horror movies in the horror community on YouTube. We're going to be talking about the project a lot, of course, so that'll just draw more attention to it. That'll get people excited about it. Of course, we also have the screenings that go on, press screenings where people and the critics see the films and everybody's waiting to see what the first word of mouth was. And then that creates all this initial buzz and hype around the project. The next thing you know, everybody can't wait to see it. Uh, then that leads to a big return in the profit at box office because the critics loved it. The Rotten Tomato score was released and yada, yada, yada. And of course, we know people are going to want to go out and see it more. People who are more reluctant, reluctant to see it might be more likely to see it if they have a good premiere, good first word of mouth. If they have Neff Campbell back, of course, and they have the original trio and they have a fresh young cast that a lot of people are interested in. That's why a lot of people want to see Selena Gomez in Screen 5. If Selena Gomez is in, is in Screen 5, I guarantee you that that's going to instantly be something that can help out with the box office. I guarantee you, you don't have to like Selena Gomez, but I guarantee you she would be a draw. She would be a draw to get people in the seats, in the theaters to see Screen 5. People who don't even know what Scream is or people who just grew up on Screen 4, they would return, of course, to see Selena Gomez if they're a big fan of hers. Um, 
I just really hope that we get Scream 5 in December of 2021 in time for the 25th anniversary of the original film. And I hope they go full full steam ahead with the marketing, posters everywhere, uh, Q&As with the cast and crew, cast and crew doing nothing but promoting it on social media every chance they get. Uh, re-releasing the original films on a new box set, collector's editions, maybe even having them show up at conventions, broadcasting the trailer on a big a big platform in some way, shape, or form at a random time. Possibly how like Christopher Nolan just dropped the Tenet trailer on Fortnite, draw attention to it like that. Uh, also just bringing back that Ghostface app that I was mentioning, bringing back the Ghostface app, bringing back several different things that were used for Screen 4's marketing, uh, mobile app games, a voice changer app, countdown the horror film countdown had an, a literal countdown app so pretty sure if countdown can return a profit you can return a profit with screen five and having nothing but a ghost face app for a voice changer uh i'm really looking forward to seeing screen five i hope it comes out in december of 2021 like i made mention of in this video i hope the marketing is very well thought out and very very uh well executed uh, let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.